Well, hello, my YouTube family. Um, it's taken me a couple of tries to upload this video for you. Um, I've done it already, but I have to do it again because apparently the light that I was using was giving an awful humming sound and you couldn't hear me. So I'm beginning to realize that I have to do my videos in the daytime because right now it is 631 and it's kind of cloudy outside and even though you can see me with the light it would have been a lot better but the light was giving off some humming sound so I have to do this really really quickly so I'm home I'm home I'm living with my dad as you can see there's a different background and my bed is still a mess but other than that I'm home my father lives downstairs I live upstairs I'm very happy to be back home and I'm happy to do this video for you. And this video has something to do with da 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 lip glosses. Okay, so I had two coupons for NYC lip glosses and they expired today. And they were both one dollar off. So I wasn't about to pass that up, people. Lip glosses me, it's like Oreo cookies and milk. Go hand in hand. So I'm sure you've seen me talk about this before. It's NYC New York Color Extreme Lip Glider Lip Gloss. Now, you've seen this before. This one is my Park Avenue Pink. I've had this one already. But, of course, I had two coupons, so I had to get two more. And the one I'm wearing right here is a nice kind of light shade. It's called Riverside Rouge. And it looks like this. That is Riverside Rouge. And it looks very dark in the tube, but as you can see, very light. And the other one that I bought, Metro Mauve. This is what Metro Mauve looks like. That's Metro Mauve. And when I put this on, I'll let you guys know. Now, what I love about these lip glosses are the fact that they are light, great for summertime, anytime, basically. They're extremely moisturizing. And um, it's, they're gonna last a while. And they do last a while on the lips. They're not tacky, they're not sticky. They're more they're more in the balm family, like a lip balm, but with a glossy shine to them. So they do adhere to your lips rather well. And you don't really have to reapply all that much. They may fade into a stain, even though they're already light as it is. In that regard, then you may want to re reapply to get a glossier effect. But they last a good long time. And the wonderful part about them is that they are inexpensive. They were $3.99 at Dwayne Reed. Sometimes you can find them for $2.99. I think Rite Aid sells them for $2.99. But Dwayne Reed I sold them for $3.99. And um, since I had coupons specifically geared for Dwayne Reed, I had to buy them at Dwayne Reed. So I got them for $2.99. And I'm very, very happy. They come in about, I'd say, seven or eight shades. All of them very, very nice. All of them very light. There's not one that's really a thicker color than the other. They're very, very sheer. And you do get a little bit of color to them. But what you see in the tube sometimes is going to be lighter than what comes out. And they all have a watermelon scent to them. The watermelon scent doesn't bother me. Scents don't bother me in general. Um, but they do smell like watermelon. The smell doesn't last. At least for me, I don't, I don't smell it. And, I, and I've had this on for a couple of hours now. Don't smell it. It doesn't taste like watermelon either. But as soon as you apply it, you do get the watermelon scent. So other than that, um, that is my little mini haul, I guess you could call it. My super duper two lip gloss mini haul due to coupons that I did not want to waste. Um, I also wanted to talk to you about lip glosses again but is it just me am I am I just affected or not the word is not affected am I what's the word I'm looking for 
attracted, attracted to lip glosses so much that I have to have three clear lip glosses? Is it necessary? I, tell, I, I say right now, right off the bat, it is not necessary to have more than one clear lip gloss because basically, ladies and gentlemen, they are pretty much all the same. Sometimes they have similar tackiness or stickiness to them. Some are lighter, some are very thick. For instance, the number one rated clear lip gloss is MAC Lip Glass. Now, as you can see, I've used it. Used it quite a bit. And when I had all of my lipsticks and I wanted a glossy effect, I would put this on top. I don't need anything else. Just this. It's thick. It's goopy. It's sticky. It's tacky. But the great thing about it is it lasts and lasts and lasts. With this, there is no reapplication. There is no reapplication unless you're kissing a lot, making out a lot, or drinking a lot, or eating a lot. Then you may have to reapply. But other than that, this is an all-nighter, people. This will last you all night long. So why is it that I go into my 300 plus lip glosses and I find Ozone by Urban Decay? It is a triple shine lip gloss and it's from Urban Decay. And I have a number of these, but in different shades. Why do I have another clear one? Can somebody talk to me? I don't know why I have another clear one. I thought two was bad, but lo and behold, Bobby Brown had to stick her head up. And I have a Bobby, oops, my bad. I had to have a Bobby Brown clear lip gloss. Why? Why do I have three? Why do I have three? Three clear lip glosses. I could have been perfectly well with this and after I would have been done with it maybe then I would have found a cheaper one you know like Urban Decay or Bobbi Brown which by the way all three you can get another clear lip gloss like Wet n Wild makes a clear lip gloss for less than the Urban Decay less than the Bobbi Brown and a lot less than the MAC these are three high-end I'd say lip glosses and there's no need for me to have three high-end clear lip glosses. I could have just been satisfied with one clear lip gloss. Why do I have three? I am a lip gloss whore. Yes, a lip gloss whore. I know this. I know this about myself. But I'm also quick to know that the shades that I have sometimes are repeats, not by my own doing, but sometimes if I buy a set, I can't, you know, take out the one in the store that I already have. It has to be bought in a set. And I have a feeling, if memory serves me right, that this is what happens with this one. This one was in a set, and I must have had a set of three or four. And the clear was included. So, okay, I can't really say anything bad about that. But I know this was bought on its own. I know it. Or it was given free. I'm not sure. I, I don't even know anymore. I, I have no idea. I, I, I don't have a clue. I don't remember where I bought it. I don't remember when I bought it. It must have been bought because here it is. I'm just saying people, am I the only one? Am I the only one that has more than one clear lip gloss? Do you need more than one clear lip gloss? You do not. Let me know. People hit me up. Give me a comment or three or four about how many clear lip glosses do you own? Which ones are your favorite? To me, all three are my favorite. This one, of course, is the tackiest. It lasts the longest. This one has kind of like a minty, kind of prickly, kind of tingly feel on your lips. All the um, extreme, uh, the, the triple X shine lip glosses, I think, have like a tingly effect. And this is, I think, the lightest, meaning that it goes on lighter and you may have to reapply with this one. I'm not really sure. But people hit me up because I can't be the only fool out there with, you know, more than one of the same, same shade. And this is no shade. This is just, you know, it's just clear. 
So hit me up. Talk to me. I will write you back. I will. I really will. I'm waiting to, you know, have some comments. So, you know, comment, rate, subscribe if you like. I'd really appreciate it. And that is it. That is the end of my little lip gloss tirade. I will talk to you later. I'm glad I'm back home. I'm glad I'm back up. I'm glad I'm with my, back with my YouTube family. I'll talk to you later, people. Bye.